Hello, good afternoon. Let's start our presser, our press conference. You know how it works. In terms of champions, we have a player. This is Diogo Costa, and we have also the coach, Sergio Conceição. First, Diogo Costa, and then the coach. Let's start with Porto Canal, obviously. First of all, good afternoon. Diogo, my question is, what are you expecting from this match, FC Porto Arsenal? And who's the favorite to win? Thank you. Well, obviously, a very strong team. They have their own tricks in terms of the way of playing. We will do everything we can to prevent Arsenal to score. And we will do everything so that they feel what FC Porto means. Carlos? Hi, Diogo. Good afternoon. Live for Sport TV Plus. So this team of Arsenal, uh, five consecutive wins. More than that, it has been a team that gets to the other goal frequently. Either they score a lot of goals or not. 15, 15 shots on goal. 25, 26 sometimes. Are you ready to have an evening without any rest tomorrow? We are prepared for everything that Arsenal is, offensively, defensively. Of course, that they all have their weak points, and uh, they never played against a team like FC Porto, and I'm sure that they will find their own difficulties playing us. Marco here, let me ask you, this match, in terms of uh, preparing, is it different from others, and why? Is it harder because you are facing, well, world-class players? And is it easier because uh, you know who they are? So maybe it's a bit easier that uh, playing with uh, opponents that are not as strong as Arsenal and their players. Honestly, a team like FC Porto always plays to win. Each team that we play against has its own valor, so we will never look differently at any team. We are playing against a team. We don't care if we are playing Aroca or if we are playing Arsenal. We must win all matches. Same responsibility every game. Hi, Diogo. Miguel Turan. So how do you define this team of Arsenal that is playing tomorrow here? Well, they are quite offensive in terms of playing, weaker points, of course, and obviously we will, we will explore those weaker points, and once again we will do everything we can to be victorious. So, on the side of Arsenal, there's a player that you know quite well, because it's been someone who played with you for many years. I'm talking, of course, Fabio Vieira. Not sure that he might come to play, because he has been, been injured. Did you talk lately? And would you like to play against him, either today or in London? No, we have not been talking. And the truth is that he knows how powerful, how valuable FC Porto is, and I'm sure that he will tell his colleagues how things work. Well, he has to do it, right? It will be very nice to play against them, of course. Hello, can I ask you a question in English, please? I try. Brilliant, thank you very much indeed. You were mentioning Arsenal's weaker points. Is that because they um, may be uh, vulnerable when they attack so much? Uh, of course, they have the, the, the weak points. Of course, I don't going to tell what we're going gonna to do. We're going to do our best job for, uh, for winning the, that game. Do, do you think that Arsenal are one of the main favourites for the Champions League this year? They, 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 with the bookmakers, they're third favourites. If they are the, the favourites, they need to, to show us to they are the, the favourites team to win. Then we do one more in English. You can reply in, in Portuguese if you want. Eric from TV2 Norway here. Uh, people talk about Martin Odegaard, the Arsenal captain, as one of the best midfielders in the world at the moment. How do you rate him? Of course, he's a great player. Uh, Playing in a great in a great uh, league. He's a, he's 
is not one one guy gonna do the the old job. So we are focused on the old team, not in just one player. Paulo. Well, one of the strong points of Arsenal is the air game. So that demands a special attention from the goalkeeper, so a lot of aerial uh, plays. Will you pay attention to that uh, strong point of Arsenal? As I said before, I prepare all matches in the same manner. The teams are the same. I'm sure that the coach does the same also. All matches are important. They are all the same. We are here to win. That's it in terms of Diogo. He will sit with us for the rest of the presser, but now, Sérgio Conceição. Good afternoon. An X-ray to this match, a team that at the end of 2023, beginning of 24, seemed to be a, a bit weak with just one win in seven matches, but now they are coming to play with five consecutive wins, 21 scored goals and just two suffered. So what's your view on it? Do you need an x-ray, really? I think that uh, everyone knows uh, what and who Arsenal is, teams who are playing big championships in Europe, namely one of the most competitive in the world, which is the Premiership. So huge quality uh, coach that's been there for five years, for all these years, he got some individual uh, players of a very high quality, connecting this to the collective playing of a team and a tactical part of the team makes it a team that is capable, strong, competent. And we must not forget that it's in the top three in terms of market value. So it's very interesting to understand how powerful they are. We have two teams with European pedigree, as you usually say, and we do have our history. We are FC Porto. We are very used to be in this uh, competition, and we need to prepare the match. It's not just a symbol. It's not just a shirt. So this is just one more. Carlos? Sergio, good afternoon, still live. Uh, this is something that you say often. It's the same thing, playing with Villar Perdiz or Arsenal. But looking at Arsenal specifically, what kind of nuances do you need to work on to stop an Arsenal that if we are to look at the last few weeks, it seems that they are almost undefeatable? Well, within the traits, the characteristics of the players that are within the dynamic of playing of Arsenal, we need different nuances, like the next one in Barcelos. So, what does this mean? We are looking at a team that, just like was saying, is quite strong, and they have a technical quality, which is the uh, sixth moment that uh, at a given moment of the match might uh, resolve. We do have our quality, we do have our talent. And within that dynamic, it is a team that uh, has a lot of percentage of uh, ball possession in the English league, and they know how to speed up the match with very deep wings, going deeper in the field, and they do create some imbalance also midfielders with a great ability to infiltrate, like Carlos was saying, it is a team that presents itself and presents itself in the last third of the, of the field. And it's a bit different uh, in terms of our internal competition. That's a normal thing, right? So uh, this has to do with how powerful they are and some of the situations coming from that uh, offensive manner of playing of Arsenal. So, in terms of recovering the ball, we will explore what we need in order to be victorious. We need to be very competent. We need to be very competent in different stages to understand that this uh, connection, this solidity in terms of defending will be the key to become victorious. Sergio, good afternoon. Let me ask you in the follow-up of what you said, Carlos, and if you go a bit deeper, we are discussing how powerful Arsenal is, but 
What about FC Porto? <laughs> what is Porto planning? Taking advantage of how offensive Arsenal is, if you can unveil a bit more in terms of uh, what goes against uh, Arsenal. And then what would be the result? Because this is a um, two-match um, round, so what's your expectation for playing in England? We are who we are as a team. There are some things that we must change. Uh, the strong points and less strong. Well, they are strong also tactically, a lot of uh, goals and also some uh, goals that they have been suffering in terms of corners or uh, sidekicks. So there is a lot of material, a lot of content to display. Uh, our video watching is a bit more prolonged, but uh, when we go to the field, uh, well, I don't want to say the same because we are still training tomorrow morning. It's not the same because there are situations that we must work on different from what we have in our internal league, but I think that's normal and natural. And then what was the other thing? Uh, a positive result for us is being victorious. It's to win the match. That's it. I always say this. It's not because it's a Champions League that I will tell you that a draw is a good result. It's not. It might be in the future, in a different context in the future, not now. Hi, Sergio. So, uh, building upon what you have been saying, how will Porto face the high pressure, the high pressure of Porto, of FC Porto? How will it work? How it, will it work? Is it risky to play very high, to play very over pressure on, on, on Arsenal? But uh, we must be very careful. Or should, should we have a different kind of approach? That's pri part of the strategy for the match. There are some... Um, well, I was answering Carlos and Marco, I think. We are who we are. We have our identity, we have our DNA, but there are some adjustments necessary according to our opponent. Because when they say that we just need to worry about ourselves, um, I don't think that's true at all. We need to uh, take care of our team, sure, according to the opponent that we are playing with or against. So. We'll see how it goes. We can only play if the other team let us. Hi, Sergio. Good morning. At the end of the match, the last match with Silva Amadora, you spoke about the fans. The next day, I saw Arteta saying that uh, in, uh, in Dragão, in the Dragon Stadium, there is a different atmosphere, a special atmosphere. We will have a full stadium. What are you hoping for tomorrow? The support coming from the stands in the match that will be very hard for a Sipoto. I always expect the best. I've been here since I was 15, some absences of course, that's a normal thing, but we want passionate fans, supporting fans. What I said against Tirol Amadora is that the fans were a bit cold Usually the fans, are, um, they, well, they express themselves according to what the team is doing. We came from an unexpected defeat, so the environment, the context was a bit different of what I'm used to. So we do have a very young team, we are changing year on year, and we don't need a 12th player, we need the first one. The first player is the fans, that's it. Hi, Sergio. André Cruz. On account of the difficulty on uh, how Arsenal is playing, is this the hardest match of FC Porto up to the stage of the season? And what about Fabio Vieira? Although he's not playing because he's injured, but what's your take on Fabio Vieira? Theoretically, we might say yes. Maybe this is the uh, hardest match. This is the opponent that might create uh, a crude difficulties, but it has to do with uh, our answer also to them, according to um, how powerful they are. We need an FC Porto that will be very competitive, very competent, very skilled, with a lot of intensity, 
And we need to be smart. Going uh, to what Anna was saying, where to, uh, well, apply pressure, when to attack, we need to be very careful, not giving Arsenal what they want, what they like. And as you say, we don't want to be in the position of being the victim. So in this competition, I think this is very high level and starting in the round of uh, round of 16, the 16 best teams in Europe, it's uh, even uh, more high level. We go into detail in terms of preparing the match, trying to understand because there is so much quality, so uh, many situations that we want to explore in our opponent. Hence, uh, a lot uh, more uh, videos that we have been watching. So there is a, uh, such a huge capacity from the opponent that we need to work. We need to get prepared. We wish we had a, a clean week to work. We don't. It is what it is. We are a big club and we usually play every three or four days. So, Miguel. Hi, Sergio. Good afternoon. Maybe Taremi at 100%, that would be a nice thing. Is Taremi ready to play against Arsenal at their best stage? No. Taremi is out. He had a problem, an injury. I think you're aware of this. So he will not play. Paulo, right here. Good afternoon, Sergio. Two questions if you'll allow me. Recently, not that long ago, there have been some declarations at the gala of a TV channel comparing the General Assembly of FC Porto to the worst scenarios of this century. Do you want to comment? No comments. Next. No, I don't know if it was for me or for the uh, English. No, because we have foreign press here, so no comments. You've said many times that you enjoy playing at the edge of the knife. So this will prove that the crisis of the FC Porto, uh, well, will prove its valor. And uh, you like playing at the razor edge, but you know, uh, it might have an influence at the future of the FC Porto in, in the short run in terms of sports and in terms of financials. Do you feel that responsibility? We do work the, so that in a sporty manner we are successful. That's what we are interested in. Then, or with it, we also have the financials, sure. But that's not what we're thinking about. We are thinking about the success of uh, sports. And it is once again, we are at the uh, round of 16 high-level match, very difficult match for us and for Arsenal. And that's it. This is the best competition, club competition in the world. And we will dignify this club because it is the third one with the best number of presences in this kind of event. Thank you.